Tim, he uh, did not show a lot of interest in girls. Uh, he, uh, even when we was uh, back in America, uh, I would always say, bring some girls over. And he say, no, 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 I want to play with the boys. That's the first sign. Uh, a lot of his uh, skating friends are boys. Uh, he would have sleepovers and always invite a boy, uh, never a girl. Uh, that's a good sign that your kid going in the wrong direction. And talk to us about that, what the sponsor's reaction was to him saying he was going to uh, initially, uh, we been sponsored uh, very nicely. When we came out, uh, Tim, I told Tim that uh, we need to make an announcement, say that he is gay and come out to the world. Those companies um, were, uh, they did not say directly, but I know they were pissed off. Uh, they didn't like the press release that I wrote and put out there. Uh, they didn't like the new image. And I think they are a little homophobic, those companies. Um, it did not go down too well with them. They did not say that, but I just got the feeling that they were anti-gay. And did the actual, did it work in a, in a commercial sense? Well, the starting of my company, Gay Star Enterprises, uh, commercially, it, uh, it worked in a number of ways. One, it's all the rage in Japan at the moment for the teenagers to be gay. Uh, a lot of children are faking being gay. A lot of boys are wearing the gay clothes. And so it, when you have a brain like mine, you notice uh, the, these things and marketing uh, eye that I have. I pick up on that. So Tim's uh, image as a gay boy, lucky for me, he really was gay. Uh, uh, it seemed to work and the, the kids, the fans seemed to uh, latch onto that and it's worked quite well.